Lord Jesus in me, loves the Jesus in you. The Jesus in me, loves the Jesus in you. So he's a hate. Oh, y'all love him this morning. Come on, y'all. So easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah so easy. Everybody sing. So easy, so easy, so easy, so easy, so easy, easy to love. Listen, when praises goes up, when praises go blessings up, come down. The songwriter says, victory is mine. That's what it says, right? Victory is 
take y'all to church, but I'm going to let Pastor Harris do that for you. But I got to say this before we go because it, it ties into Resurrection Sunday. It says Jesus went yes, he did. to Calvary to save a wretch like you and me. This love this love Jesus went to Calvary to save the rich like you and me. That's love. If you ain't never been loved before, that's love. That's love. Help us say, come on. Everybody sings, say, Jesus went, Jesus went, Calvary, Calvary, save a rich like you and me. Love. Love. Anybody know what love is? Love. Listen. Listen. That's not how the story ends. He died one day and then rose again. That's love. Thank you, nephew. Anybody know what love is? That's love. From the top. Help me sing. Say, Jesus went, Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch like you and me. That's love. Anybody know what love is? your hands. Baby sung this song and we got to go. It says, Jesus left me this I know Oh yes he does. For the Bible tells me so. Y'all believe that Jesus loved me? Y'all believe that Jesus loved y'all? Yes Lord. Stand on your feet if you know that Jesus loves you this morning.
hands up. One more time. I want everybody to sing it if you believe it. Come on, say yeah. Amen. How many know that Jesus loves you? That Jesus loves you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for today. We thank you, God, for your many blessings. We thank you, God, for life and strength. We thank you, God, for sending your only son to die for our sins. Thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that he lived the humble and sinless life, God. We thank you, God, for this ministry on earth, God. We thank you, God, for the miracles and wonders, God, that he performed, God. And, God, we thank you, God, that he's still performing miracles and wonders in our life, God. Because if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where will we be? And so, God, this morning, God, we have a day, God. We thank you, God, for your presence, God. And so today we say, have your way in this place, God. God, that lives will be to change, God. People be revived, God. People be restored, God. People be refueled, God. In the name of Jesus, God. And God, there declare, God, just how good you've been to us, God. So, Father God, bless the ones that's in the house, God. Bless the ones, God, that be watching online, God. We thank you, God, for your doorkeepers, God. We thank you, God, for ministry leaders, God. We thank you, God, for your servanthood, God. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that you'll continue, God, to heal us, God. That, God, that you'll continue, God, to stretch us as a ministry, God. So, God, in the name of Jesus, God, we love you and we adore you. Let every believer that love the Lord say amen. God bless you. Um, the Psalms of this house, Psalms 100. In its entirety, the Bible says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endure to all generations. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm thankful to see you all this morning once again on this Sunday morning, this beautiful Resurrection Sunday. Amen. Put your hands together today if you are excited to be in the house of the
devices that we can give. A check, um, make the checks payable out to True Love Praise and Worship Church, or you can give cash. And so here at True Love Praise and Worship, we're thankful for the gifts that you give on a consistently basis. We're thankful for the ones that continue to give online. It continues to help us push ministry. It continues to help us do ministry work. And so I'm thankful for all the faithful tithers, all the faithful givers, and all the faithful love gifts. And, it, and if you also receive um, extra income, amen. You know you got a raise. You can always bring your first fruit, amen. You can put it in the pastor's hand. I'll wave it to God. And so I want to make sure, we want to make sure that we obedient. And so at this time, I'm going to give you time to fill out your envelopes. Fill out your envelopes. Fill out your envelopes. And as we're waiting, as we prepare, as we prepare, uh, we do have an offering declaration that we say over this house every Sunday. Uh, I ask that you repeat after me. I ask that you repeat after me. Uh, make sure you get your seed in your right hand. Put the seed in your right hand. So if you're giving, if you're giving with your phone, put your phone in your right hand. If you're giving cash, make sure you put it in the right hand because we want to make sure we get the right amount to God. Amen. And so repeat after me. This is my seed. This is my seed. God, I trust you with my seed. As I sow my seed, I release all blocks and allow wealth to flow into my life. I'm a great giver and an excellent receiver. I believe by faith I receive double in every area of my life. Double wealth, double anointing, double rejoicing, double in my giving. Double in my receiving, double in my income, and double in my assets. I receive double in Jesus' name. Double is coming my way. And if you believe it, say amen. 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 The man of God is in charge, Sister Joy. As I saw my hands, I release all blocks. It's your season. To be blessed, I made you a promise, and you stood the test. He's gonna open the heavens for you out of blessing. Yeah, it's your season to be blessed. It's your season to be blessed. God gave you a promise, and you served the test. So when the job has it, we're going to have a blessing. It's your season. It's your season. To be blessed. God, watch this. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the field. You're blessed coming out. And you're blessed coming in. He's got to open up windows for you out of the blessing. Yes, it's your season. Whose season? A little louder. Oh, yes. It's our season to be blessed. Are you ready? Amen. 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 I'm ready. We're blessed. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you, God, for every seed that was sown into kingdom, God. We thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, God, for the first fruit, God. We thank you, God, for the tithers, God. We thank you, God, for the offertory of givers, God. So, God, in the name of Jesus, God, this is our season, God, no matter what month, God, but no matter what year or the week of the day is, God, because we believe by faith, God, that double is coming our way, God. So, in the name of Jesus, God, I declare and decree, God, 
over everyone's finances, God, that they shall be blessed, God, that God, it shall flow, God, like milk and honey, God. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, God, for those, God, that partner with us, God, online, God, that God, in the name of Jesus, God, that God, that they was obedient, God. So, God, I pray, God, that lights will continue to stay on, God, water will continue to be stayed on, God, that, God, people will meet their mortgages, God, and rent, God, on the monthly, God. So, God, in the name of Jesus, God, we believe by faith, God, that, God, greenery is coming our way. So, in Jesus' name, we declare and decree that it's our season. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, at this time, we have a young lady. Um, she's no stranger to the house of God. She's going to come up. Jaleesa's, she's going to come up in mind. It's an echo. It's you? Okay, I hear feedback coming. And so she's going to come. One second, please. Amen. They just gave me a sidebar. All right, all right. Amen. So we have two poems, two poems, two poems, two poems, uh, two poems. So at this time, the ones with the poems who asked, it's Braden and Blake. Amen. There come up the two brothers. Amen. They in blue. Hey, all right. The men in blue, the boys in blue. All right. I like blue. That's my favorite color. Amen. Come on up. Come on up. That's right. That's right. That's right, Deshaun. Keep dressing him in blue. He's a cowboy fan. Look at him. Got on the good colors. Amen. See, I told you, boy, you're going places, boy. Look, I have almost the same look, boy. You... Boy, you're going to have the heart of your pastor. Amen. So at this time, <laughs> he's going to do his poem. Here. The meaning of Easter. Easter means different things to different people. For the people that believe in Jesus Christ, is a, it is about the love of God and Jesus Christ. To me, Easter means E is for everlasting life. God promised this to everyone who has faith in Jesus Christ. People who follow the words of Jesus will get to live with him, God, forever. A is for all who believe in the word of Jesus Christ. His lessons and messages are meant for all people living on earth. S is for sacrifice. Jesus Christ gave up his life to pay for the sins of all people because he loves us. He gave something important so we wouldn't have to. T is for trust. If we trust in God and Jesus, we can live a happy life. Trust means being sure that God and Jesus will be there for us even when we can't see them. E is for eternity. God says we can live wherever with him if we follow Jesus Christ. And eternity never ends and includes when we are alive and dead. Resurrection means, which means Jesus came, came back from the dead to lead the people. By doing the impossible thing, he showed us all that his message and powers are real. Romans chapter eight, chapter 8, verse 11. If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal body through his spirit who dwells in you. This is what Easter means to me. To all who love him, O God of the universe, you share your glory, your majesty, your omnipotence to become human as Jesus Christ, to get close to us, to connect with us, to be our role model and guide for living. O oh God of the universe, you became the human Jesus Christ to know us, to feel we all feel. To, I mean, to show us how much you love us by taking within yourself all our sin. O oh God of the universe, you felt not just one person's pain, 
but the pain of all of us, to wash us clean and bond with us. Your creation, your children, O God of the universe, you prove your transcendent holy power by rising from the dead, a sign that all of us who believe in you will also rise to be with you eternally. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is the happy and happy Easter. Happy Easter to all of those who love him. Oh my God.
Oh my God. Worth, worthy. I'll never sing my love for you. Oh, oh, oh. This is building. That should be a sound of worship, knowing what Jesus has done. If he's done anything for you, it shouldn't be. A pump up, you should be able to praise him. It should be a sound of worship across this building. I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm thankful for what the Lord is doing in this place at this moment. I've been praying all week. I came early in the morning and prayed at the altar, and God is doing exactly what I asked him to do. And so for that, I'm giving him praise for what he's doing. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. As we stand, as we stand for the word of God on this morning. As we stand. Turn with me to the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 28 Matthew 28 and while you go to Matthew chapter 28 um, I'm going to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 read a couple of verses and I'll meet you over there so Matthew chapter 28 Matthew chapter 28 and as you find it listen to these words in 1 Corinthians Chapter number 15, commencing at verse number 3, and we'll conclude at verse number 4. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. It says, I passed on to you what was most important and what had also been passed on to me. Christ died for our sins, just as the scripture said. He was buried and he was raised from the dead on the third day just as the scriptures say it. And now Matthew chapter 28, beginning at verse number one. Um, early on Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone, and sat on it. His face shone like lightning, and his clothes was as white as snow. The gods shook with fear when they saw him, and they fell into a dead faint. Then the angel spoke to the woman, don't be afraid, he said. I know you're looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come see where his body was laying. And now go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead and he's going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. Remember what I have told you. Verse number six, one more time. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Um, just for a little while from this passage of scripture, I want to use as a subject, thank God I made it out. Thank God I made it out. Father, we thank you, God, once again. Thank you, God, for this another opportunity, God, to preach your word, to stand before your people, God. God, I ask right now, God, that you'll give me the strength, God. Give me the wisdom, God. Give me the anointing, God. Give me the favor, God, to speak this word, God. Speak this anointing word. Speak this fulfilled word, God. So, God, I thank you, God. I praise you, God. Thank you, God, that you've risen, God. So, Father, God, I have your way, God, in my life, God. Forgive me all sins, God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. You may be seated. 
Thank God I made it out. Ladies and gentlemen, visitors and friends, loved ones, as I stand before you this morning, I stand before you with the heart of gratitude. I stand before you with the excitement in my life. I stand before you with the praise in my spirit, knowing that Jesus is worthy to be praised. The songwriter penned these profound words from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. He is worthy to be praised. Jesus is worthy to be praised. One of the riffs I always asked God was to help me sing. I wish I was a singer, but since I'm not a singer, um, I was just singing the lyrics to one of my songs. But then I heard the old church sing, um, I need thee every hour. Somebody just sitting here this morning under the sound of my voice has sung the song or have prayed the prayer or have said out loud, I need thee every hour. I need thee every hour. But, but, but then, but then, Marlon, I heard the song, right? I heard the church say, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Y'all know the song. So, um, because the reason why we can bless his holy name is because he has done great things. He has done great things for us. He has done great things, oh, bless his holy name. And the reason why we can bless his holy name is because can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. He is my friend. I heard, I heard the song, uh, what a friend we have in Jesus. All are our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God and prayer. But I love this song. I heard this song throughout the week. I heard this song minister to me. Um, Dre, I heard it says, um, I love your grace and mercy. You brought me through. I'm living in this moment because of you. I want to thank you. I want to praise you because it's your grace and your mercy you brought me through. Thank you for saving a sinner like me to tell the world salvation is free. There were times when I was just didn't do right, but you watched over me all day and night. Your grace and your mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, in this journey of life, we often encounter storms that threaten to overwhelm us. These storms come in various forms. There are challenges, there are hardships, and crises that shake our very foundation. However, amidst of the chaos and the turmoil, there is a beacon of hope that shines bright. What shines bright is our faith in Jesus Christ. And when we learn how trusting in Jesus and walking by faith and trusting him that no matter what we go through, Jesus can lead us safely through even the darkest of times. Can I tell you, life is filled with ups and downs. Life is filled with victories. Life is filled with defeats. Life is filled with joys and sorrows. It is during the storms of life that our true strength and resilience are tested. In the moments of adversity, it is natural to feel overwhelmed. It is natural to feel fearful, and it's natural to feel uncertain. But I thank God when I feel overwhelmed with life problems, I can take it to Jesus. One of my favorite verses I begin to mature in my faith as I begin to grow in life, as I begin to grow in fatherhood, as I begin to grow in ministry. Uh, one, of, one of my profound verses now has transitioned to 1 Peter um, chapter number 5, verse number 7 in the Amplified Version. 
pinpoints these words. It says, casting all of your cares, all of your anxieties, all of your worries, and all of your concerns once and for all on him, for he cares about you with deepest affections and watches over you very carefully. I I love this verse because no matter what I'm feeling and no matter what I'm going through, Jesus wants to take care of it for you and I. Let me say it for the person that may may well be going through something. No matter what you're feeling, no matter what you're going through, Jesus wants to take care of your problems just for you. He wants you to cast all your cares and all your anxieties and all your worries and all of your concerns on him once and for all. Meaning, he says, give it to me and don't take it back. Let me do my job and I'll take care for you. But for those who have faith in Jesus Christ, there is a source of unwavering hope and comfort. Um, There is a saying that says, you never know how strong you are until you being strong is the only choice you have. And so I thank God I made it out of this. And some of us thank God that we made it out of situations. And to thank God that we made it out of this is a powerful statement of triumph over adversity. Remember, every challenge you face is an opportunity for growth. That is why, as a church, we have we able to say, um, God, elevate me. God, involve me. God, expand me. God, enlarge me. Because it is an opportunity for us to grow. It's an opportunity for us to grow as a church. It's an opportunity for you to grow as a memory. It's an opportunity for you to grow in your faith. But can I encourage you on this Sunday morning to embrace your resilience, to celebrate your victories, and keep moving on forward with faith and determination. Haruka McCannamkai says, and once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through. You won't be the same person who walked in. That's what this storm is all about. Your journey may have been tough, but it has made you stronger. Your your journey may have been tough, but it made you wiser. Your journey may have been tough, but it made you capable and even more possible to get through what you've been through. You ought to thank Jesus um, that you made it through another day. Thank you, Jesus. I made it out. It's a testament to the strength of your faith. Your survival is a testament to the power of hope. Your survival is the hope of perseverance and unwavering love of Jesus Christ. Can I encourage you? uh, Let your victories in life remind you that you are never alone in your struggles. You're never alone in what you're going through. You're never alone when you think you're by yourself. You you are never alone. Because with Jesus by your side... You have the courage to face any challenge, the resilience to endure any trial. What I love best about going through, what I love about getting through is um, no matter what, Jesus is there to help us out. Some things happen to you in a positive way that you didn't know and you didn't think you deserved it. You, you knew you wasn't qualified. You knew you wasn't worried. But because God's power and because his blessing, because his hand was on you, God made sure you got through what you was going through. And I believe by faith that God is getting ready to do some things for some people that's been crying out to him. I believe by faith that God is getting ready to heal some people that's been down and sick. 
I'm believing God is getting ready to heal some people that's been sick. I wish I had some person that's going through to believe it because true love, praise, and worship, we're not going to be a church that's always going to have to take medication. We're not going to always be a church that's always going to be sick because we are a church that's healed because I believe by faith what the Lord Jesus can do in your life. I, I just believe by faith that this morning that God is working some things out on your behalf while you're sitting on these purple chairs while you're at home in your living room while you may be driving I just believe by faith that Jesus is getting ready to open up the door so you can walk out so you can dust yourself off and say thank God I made it through God, God is getting ready to open up some door for some people who has been counting out people who've been struggling people who haven't had it always together people who have been misused people who have been talked about people that's getting getting right the first time I just believe by faith that the Lord is getting ready to move on your behalf he's getting ready to move in the lives of the believers he's getting ready to work it out for you it's getting ready to work out for you good we sung it during the seed offering this is our season to be blessed I wish somebody shouted to know this is your season to be blessed. I wish I had somebody to know this is your season to be blessed. You said that already twice, Pastor. I'm going to say it again for the people in the back. This is your season to be blessed because you getting ready to come out what you've been through and how you getting ready to be blessed is going to be good measure pressed down and shaken together and it's going to be running over. Man shall give it to your bosom. It's about to overflow in your life. It's about to overflow in your life. You are getting ready to get out of this. Um, the four gospel accounts of Jesus Christ each describes their story of the resurrection. In the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, um, there are stories of the resurrection. And as I read each story personally, each writer had their own synopsis of Jesus Christ's death. The resurrection account and the four gospels have similarities and there are differences. They are similar that in each case the event is on a Sunday morning. Let the church say Sunday morning. Mary Magdalene is present at the tomb, and the tomb was found to be empty. But there are differences in the synopsis gospels. Um, the women arrive at the tomb early in the morning, either at dawn or after the sun had risen. In the book of Matthew, Matthew tells us that the two Marys went to the tomb. As the new day was dawning, um, the Greek brings out an interesting nuance. Um, it can be translated as it began to dawn. The new day was dawning could mean that it was still dark. Where it hit as began to dawn suggests that the women arrived at the tomb while the sun was peeking through the darkness. But Mark notes that this happened when the sun had risen, supporting as it begins to dawn. But in the book of Luke, Luke has it early dawn, and John says it's still dark. Can I tell you there's no contradiction to each writer, but each writer um, pinpoints in their own dynamic view. But there is a difference in the number and names of women presence, except that Mary Magdalene is present in all four accounts. Mary Magdalene, she's present in all four accounts. Each gospel writer puts that Mary is in at the tomb. In Matthew accounts, there's only two women, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary. But Mark names three, um, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Shalom, but Luke names three Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary, the mother of James, and several other women were there. But then John has Mary Magdalene by 
herself. What what are you saying to me, Pastor? There there's going to be at least one person or at least a few people that you can count on to help you bounce back on your feet. There's a few people that want you to see you do good. There's a few people that want you to accomplish your dreams. There's at least a parent, there's at least a mother or a father in here, or a grandparent wants to see your kids do good. No matter what they've been through in life, no matter what circumstances they had, you want to see them do good and bounce back on their feet. There's always one person that will be there to help support you through the good and the bad. Amen. I, I'm getting feedback. That's, that's, that's y'all in the back? All right. Amen. Somebody's watching me. All right. And so there's always one person that will be true to help you support you through, through the good and the bad. And so it says, early on Sunday morning as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone, and sat on it. And his face shone like lightning, and his clothes was as white as snow. The gods shook with fear when they saw him, and they fell into a deep faint. But can I tell you, when you have the support of people, when you have the support of people, um, God will appreciate them. God will see them through. Um, the other night and uh, Friday, I said, um, I preached um, of the Good Friday. I needed your support and support when you, when people support you um, during your time, it'll help you with your anxieties. It'll help you calm down your stresses. It'll help you with your concerns to let you know that there's always somebody there to help you out. If, if I was a facilitator for a men's conference, I would tell the men, if the woman supports you during your down days, then she'll support you during your glory days. Amen. Some man should have shot her right there. One, one woman should have shot her. At least she know she's been there with you during your down days. And now you're smooth selling in your glory days. If, if, if. But if she can't help you during the time you were down, I want you to know <laughs> she only wants to be around when you're up. She ain't down when you down. And she only want to be around when you up. I ain't saying she a gold digger. But she ain't messing with no broke. You need people to help you Get through. Yeah. Ladies, I don't make it. If he, if he can't support your dreams to, to help you out, if he can't help you to be there, then you need to look him dead in the eye and say, homeboy, you need to get it together because I got some things in my life that I got planned. I got some visions in my life that I got planned. And if you can't get on board, at least try to do something to help me out, then Sarinara. But if she good to you, put a ring on. I, I this ain't no marriage conference. This, just this, <laughs> this, this ain't a marriage conference. I'm, I'm just, I'm just helping y'all out this morning. Thank God I made it through. Watch this. It says the angel spoke to the woman. Don't be afraid, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead. Um, can I help you out this morning? I don't know um, who this is for, but you are not always going to be down. It may look dark at the moment, but you're getting ready to bounce back. You're getting ready to resurrect. You, your dreams that you bury is getting ready to rise up again. 
your ideas that you push to the side. It's about to resurrect in your life. Those school days, it's, it's about to be good for you. You about to bounce back. You thought you was down and desolate and deserted, but Jesus says, even during the good, during the darkest days, it is still early. The sun is still shining because Jesus says, "I was there with you." And then when you think, when you think that things were going to get bad, Jesus was sending an angel to help you out. The Bible says there was a great earthquake, meaning Jesus is getting ready to shake some things up in your life. He's about to break some things. He's about to break some grounds for you so you can walk on. I, I wish I had some people that was believing the Lord to do something in their life, but Jesus is sending an angel on your behalf. People, people who thought you was who was supposed to be there to help you out. They, they were the people that walked away from you. They, they thought because you were down, beaten, because you were bloody, beaten, and bruised, that they thought you was going to stay in that same place. They thought because they walked out on you that you was going to do bad. They thought because they fired you from their job and cut your hours that you were going to do bad. But I know a man named Jesus. They thought because they didn't say anything to you because they pushed you over but you didn't understand you had a prayer life in your life but they didn't understand that you didn't say nothing the reason why you ain't say nothing to them because you will learn to pray to your father you learn how to pray to Jesus because deep down inside you really want to cuss them out can I say you you really want to cuss them out. You, you, you really want to cuss them out. You really want to speak in another language and I'm not talking about a tongue. You want to tell them to go somewhere. Them, they mom and they daddy and they kids. And I hear some of you saying, Pastor, I still cuss them out. I said what I had to do and I asked God to repent for me, repent for them and repent for myself. Father, forgive me for they didn't know what they was doing. They didn't know that I had a bright future. They didn't know that I was anointed. They didn't know that I was favored. They didn't know that I had a bounce back spirit. They didn't know I was coming out of this. The people, the people that left you for dead, they think you still was going to be there. <laughs> But I got good news for you. You you already gone. You already moving on to bigger and better things. That's you already got something. God has got a plan for you. He he's getting ready to do it for you. The Bible says He isn't here. He is risen from the dead. Just as he said he would. Can I help you out? Um, you got to tell people what you going to do. Um, and it's not to be cocky. It's not to be conceited. Um, but you got to tell them, I ain't always going to be broke. I ain't always going to be down. I ain't always going to be in this predicament. Jesus told his disciples, he fulfilled scriptures to let them know that on the third day, I'm going to get up. And it says, come see where his body was lying. Now, now go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. He's going ahead of you to Galilee. Um, you will see him there. Remember what I have told you. And some of us here this morning, um, you, you, you got to tell the enemy the old me would have ran away and started crying. But the new me says, enemy, take your best shot. I've come too far to give up now. This, this is temporary what I'm going through. This, this is a testimony. You, you still have some fighting you. 
can I tell you, you, you better not give up. You better not throw in the towel. This is just a minor setback for a major combat. Jesus has risen from the dead. And the people that was looking for him, they couldn't find him because Jesus was gone. Um, it says, you see him there. Remember what I have told you. The women ran quickly from the tomb. They were very frightened, but also filled with great joy. And they rushed to give the disciples the angels' message. And as they went, Jesus met them and greeted them. And he ran to him, grasped his feet, and worshiped him. And Jesus said to them, don't be afraid. Go tell my brothers to leave for Galilee. They will see me there. Um, can I tell you, when you get out of this, um, when you come out, get on your feet, um, you got to run and worship Jesus Christ at his feet. Because what once what had you crying when now have you worshiping at Jesus' feet. Mary, when she saw Jesus, she ran and bowed at his feet. She worshiped his feet because she was excited to see Jesus had gotten out of the grave. She was excited to see him risen and I don't know about you but God has been good to me God has been good to you and if you know God was on your side if you don't know if you would have been with Jesus hadn't done anything for you you could have had a mental breakdown you could have been strung out on drugs you could have committed suicide you could have lost your mind but because Jesus got up from the grave for you and I you can say that Jesus has all power in his hand and I thank the Lord for Jesus Christ for getting up out the grave for you and I I just thank God that he's there for me and he's there for you and somebody here your mouth might not be moving but your spirit is leaping and saying God I thank you that I made it through I thank you God that it's another defeat in my life I thank you God that I did didn't lose again. God, I thank you once again for keeping me, Lord. I thank you, God, for not taking me out. God, I thank you for giving me another chance. God, I thank you for sparing my life. God, I thank you that I've been baptized. God, I thank you, God, that I accepted your salvation. They said I wasn't going to make it. They said I wasn't going to be here today. But God, you've been so good to me, and you love me more than I love myself and I got some fight in me. My fight is the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. My fight is no weapon formed against me shall prosper. My fight is I'm an overcomer. My fight is God has a plan for me. My fight is God is able to do it seemingly and abundantly more than I can ever act or think. The reason why I got a fight in me because one Friday either they nailed my Savior to a cross. They whipped him. They put nails in his hands. Nails in his feet. They spit on him. They mocked him. They talked about him. They gambled for his clothes. They put a spear in his head. But he didn't say not a mumbling word. But oh, I thank God that he didn't say that because early Sunday morning morning, Jesus got up with all power in his hand. And the reason why we can celebrate is because Jesus got up with all power in his hands. He got up, church. He got up, church. That's, that's why we can celebrate. That's why we can celebrate today, because Jesus got up with all power in his hands. Hey Amen. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Hey Amen. That's right, Cleo. That's right. Hey Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank God I made it out of this. Thank God I made it out of this. Thank God I made it out of this. Perhaps there's one today. You made it out of the situation. 
You didn't know that you were going to end up there. But Jesus spared your life. Jesus gave you another chance. Jesus offered you another day. And if you don't have Jesus as your personal Savior, we offer Christ to you today. We want you to be a part of this church family. We want you to be a part of this ministry as we continue to elevate, as we continue to involve, as we continue to enlarge. But the main point is we're standing on the word of God. We're teaching about Jesus Christ. So if you want to be a part of this ministry, we offer Christ to you. We offer Christ to you. But if you want today, Yes, Lord. We offer Christ to you. There's still time. There's still time. There's still time. Father, bless you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Amen. We thank God for the word. We thank God for his people. Um, directly after church, um, there's candy for the young people. Um, so you can start now in the back. Lady Harris will give you a bag of candy. Just want to make sure that all the young people get candy. Eat lots of candy and run your parents crazy on this Easter Sunday. Amen. Make sure, not not the Harris kids, but the other kids, other kids, <laughs> other kids. Grayson, make sure you get two bags. Run, ma run, mama crazy. That's right, run her crazy today. Amen. It's good to see y'all. Amen. It's good to see you all in the house. Thank you, thank you. It's good to see you all. Amen. Thank you all for your support. Amen. One of one of one of the biggest things is to preach. Amen. One of the biggest things I always preach is Easter, uh, Good Friday. Amen. The Palm Sunday, um, all all the special events. It's hard for a preacher to preach, but I thank God. I thank God that we made it through. Amen. Because everybody know the story. Amen. They wait for you. Amen. Go to, ah, but thank the Lord. <laughs> I thank God for you all. Let us stand. We're getting out of here. Um, thank you all visitors and friends that decided to come worship with us today. Thank you, Jaleesa. You did an awesome job. Did a marvelous job. Thank you, Blake and Braden, for an awesome job doing an awesome job, doing a man magnificent job. So we're departing from here. We're getting up out of here. Um, let us pray. Father, we thank you once again. We thank you, God, for the excitement. We thank you, God, for the joy. We thank you, God, that you got it with all power in your hand. We thank you, God, that you died for us, God. We thank you, God, that you died for our sins, Lord. Thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you was a sacrificial lamb for us, Lord. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, God, for a blessed week, God. We thank you, God, that you kept our kids safe, God, during the spring break, God. We thank you, God, for the teachers and administrators, God. And, God, as they transition, God, back to another productive week, God, in school, God, we pray, God, that their attention span with God to be, that they'll pay attention, God. We pray, God, that they won't be sleepy, God, or distracted, God, but, God, that they'll listen to the teacher, God. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, cover our youth, God, inside of this ministry, God. Cover the ones near and far, God. We pray, God, this week, God, we'll be blessed, God. Continue, God, to heal the ones, God, that may be sick or down, God. And so, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray, God, for traveling grace back to our homes, God, of various places, God, we may spend time with family, God, doing this Easter Sunday, God. So, God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, God. Keep us safe, God. We pray, God, when we get back home, all things are great, God. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, God, for getting us through, God. We thank you, God, for the many open doors, God, that's coming our way, God. We thank you, God, that we're blessed beyond measure. So, in Jesus' name, I may the grace of God, the love of Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest rule in the Bible, these people now and forever. Let everybody that love the Lord say amen.
capture all you show me.